cop Elwood Ganja at police station in Portmore. A police constable attached to the Greater Portmore Police Station was charged with the breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act and unprofessional conduct after he was allegedly found with contraband at the station while on duty. According to a police report, Constable Joel Fagan was posted on cell guard duties at the Portmore lockup between the hours of 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. on March 29. He was found to be missing from his post at about 11.45 a.m. by the cell supervisor who went in search of the constable. Fagan was allegedly seen entering the guard room from the direction of the parking lot carrying a grey drawstring bag and a bottle of water. The constable on return to his post was confronted by the custody officer sergeant who accosted him. Constable Fagan allegedly then left and went to the reception area of the lockups where he was followed by the surgeon and another constable who retrieved the said drawstring bag from Fagan and searched it in Fagan's presence. The report said the bag was found to contain a parcel of wrapped transparent plastic tape containing one box of cravene, a small quantity of tobacco, a small quantity of vegetable matter resembling ganja, one orange colored lighter, 110 LTE cellular phone, a deck of cards, two packs of rolling paper, two dozen white tablets, and three Jocko razor blades. Igler charged for robbery in downtown Kingston. 48-year-old Igler Neville Ferran of Regent Street, Kingston 14, has been charged with robbery and aggravation following an incident along Arbor Street in downtown Kingston on Tuesday, March 28. Reports from the Central Police are that about 1.27 a.m., three persons were traveling along Arbor Street when their vehicle ran out of petrol. They were reportedly approached by Ferran, who offered assistance, which was refused. After the refusal, Ferran allegedly brandished a knife and robbed them of $2,000 and a pair of earrings, then escaped on foot in the area. The police were summoned and upon arrival, Ferran was sought and spotted and was pointed out by the complainants. He was taken into custody and was subsequently charged. His court date is being finalized. Man charged for setting building on fire after locking man inside. The Denhamton police have charged 29-year-old Ricardo Rodney, otherwise called Kemar, of Regent Street in Kingston 14 with attempted murder in connection with an incident that took place on Oxford Market in downtown Kingston on Tuesday, August 16, 2022. Reports are that about 11.30 p.m. on that date, the victim was at his shop on the mall when Rodney allegedly locked him inside the shop and poured a corrosive substance on the building, then set it ablaze. The victim managed to escape with the assistant of another man who opened the shop door. The police were summoned and the victim was taken to hospital where he was admitted in critical condition with several burns to his face and elsewhere on his body. On Thursday, March 16, 2023, Rodney was arrested. On Wednesday, March 22, he was charged after requesting an answer session in the presence of his attorney. His court date has not yet been finalized. St. Anne Man met his demise in Montego Bay. A St. Anne Mason was shot down and neutralized by unknown assailants at the Borg Village housing scheme in Montego Bay, St. James on Wednesday night. The deceased has been identified as O'Neill Jones of Paritown in St. Anne. Reports from the Freeport Police are that about 9 p.m., residents of Borg housing scheme alerted the police after hearing gunshots in the area a man running from a 2016 Toyota Fila motor car which was parked along the roadway. On examination, the police found multiple bullet holes all over the vehicle. A search of the area led to the discovery of Jones in a yard with multiple shot wounds to his upper body. Investigation continues into the matter. Several rafts were destroyed by the Tourism Product Development Company Limited TPD alongside the security forces in the White River St. Anne on Thursday morning. According to the TPD the move followed several attempts to end illegal rafting and several issues being reported on the river. In a release sent out to the media on Thursday, the TPD said that the operation that started around 10 a.m. comes after many consultations with offending parties and numerous complaints from visitors. Complaints they noted are that of sexual harassment, raftsmen operating in a drunken state, other criminal activities and a prolonged breach of the River Rafting Act. The TPD Co said, utilizing a clear hold and recent strategy, the TPD Co partnered with the Jamaica Defense Force and the Jamaica Constabulary Force in terminating the illegal activities. The operation also include 
closed the notice signs being posted advising the general public that the section of the White River under the bridge is closed to unlicensed activities by order of the River Rafting Authority which regulates and controls the river rafting in Jamaica. German Edward's song, Beautiful Day, climbs the Billboard chart. Since the remix in February, with vocals from Rashawn and Prince, Edward's almost nine-year-old song, Beautiful Day, continues to make moves on the charts. The song recently charted on the UK's officially top 100. It peaked at number 63 and has now made its crossover to the US where it rests at number 26 on the latest US Afrobeats song chart. It slips from 7 to 10 on the Billboard at the Gospel charts. Beautiful Day was first released in 2014 and was featured on Edward's album Don't Count Me Out which was issued by Island Tourship.